How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to How Large Can a Bacteria Get by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I doth commence this week to be science week. I'm gonna do nothing but a In A Nutshell and just all the usual science stuff that I react to. I can't remember the names right now, but gray, something gray. My brain is fried right now, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep going. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm super excited to get back into this. Sorry for missing Monday, but I'm going to make it up to y'all by doing a Thursday video. So it'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. So uh, yeah, it's like nothing, nothing ever happened. So yeah, this I'm... I never thought I wanted to know the answer to this, but how large a bacteria can get is a uh, pretty interesting stuff. I kind of hope that it would be like a symbiote or something like that, but a bacteria kind of kind of similar to a symbiote. But the only reason why I want it to be a symbiote is because I really like Venom from the Spider-Man universe, and he's a symbiote so, or symbiote, whatever you want to call it, however you want to phrase it. But yeah, I'm super excited to get back into In a Nutshell. It has been quite a while since I did a uh, In a Nutshell video, and I know some of you guys are like, it's Kurzgesagt, but that's German for In a Nutshell. So I'm saying the right name. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify that. So without any further ado, here is how large can a bacteria get? In and out. In and out. Are we breathing? Staying alive We're is breathing. about doing things. Yes. This very second, like breathing. your cells are combusting glucose molecules with oxygen to make energy available, which keeps you alive <laughs> for another precious moment. Lovely. To get the oxygen to your cells, you're breathing. Breathing is an answer <laughs> yeah. to a very hard feel problem. like dying. How do you get the resources that your cells need to survive from the outside or to don't the have inside lungs? of your cells? Every living thing has to solve this problem, and the solution is surprisingly different depending on one of the most important nice. regulators of life, size. Three. As we've discussed in other videos, I don't think I watched the other scales, ones, but it's okay. The physical laws of the universe have different consequences for its inhabitants. Oh, hi. <laughs> Simple things like temperature, microgravity, or surface tension might not matter to you or be oh, a he's deadly fine. danger, depending on how big you are. Living things need a lot of different materials to keep themselves going. Yeah. And they somehow I mean, that makes need sense. to transport them from the outside to the Glug -glug. inside. This was a huge problem for the first things on the verge of being alive because doing anything in our universe requires energy. Aww. And the first living you beings were just on born. Earth did not have the abundance of tools and techniques available that life has today after billions of years of evolution. So, at the, the very good beginning, stuff. life needed to find a way to get good stuff inside and bad stuff outside of itself without using energy. Luckily, huh. the very first forms of life were very, very small. Oh, it's adorable. And because they were so small, they were able to use a free form of transport that was based on a physical law called diffusion. diffusion. Okay. Diffusion is the rule Opposite of the universe of that molecules, especially in liquids or gases, are constantly moving around in all directions. And about this in elementary school. And because they move around and bump into each school. other and other molecules, they tend to spread. For example, if you drop a sugar cube into water, then there is a lot of sugar in one place, and in another place, there's none. As sugar molecules dissolve in the water, they will start randomly bumping against the water molecules and other sugar molecules. Slowly, all the sugar molecules will spread out and form multiple phases of different concentrations. These random movements continue endlessly, until at some point, the sugar will be spread evenly in the water. Uh -huh. The great thing about diffusion is that life can use it for free. It doesn't require energy. And life loves free things. Yes, so all life humans on love free things. On diffusion. Let's look at the smallest living being on Earth, a bacterium. Specifically, its surfaces. Seems like Cell he's just happy to be there. Now for diffusion of certain molecules. This specific bacterium consumes oxygen to live, while carbon dioxide is produced inside as a waste product. Just like us. So inside the bacterium, there isn't a lot of oxygen, but a lot of carbon dioxide. Because of diffusion, oh, these molecules will eventually spread evenly, so the carbon dioxide diffuses out 
while oxygen is constantly replenished from the outside. But this kind of breathing only works for the very small world. Okay. Four bacteria, amoeba, or your cells, and a few very that amoebas animals. are really happy. Jellyfish is so Insects, happy too. For example, have a fine network of trachea, tunnels with trachea? a pressure gradient where air very slowly can diffuse in and exchange. I didn't know about any of this stuff, cells. by the way. But even insects seem to be able to contract their trachea, and at least some even have specialized breathing organs like I don't like you. and air sacs. You bite. At certain scales, diffusion Whoa. is just too slow to keep cells alive. <laughs> the oh. fundamental problem is that die? the exchange with the environment died. can only happen at the surface, and diffusion of materials can only sustain a certain amount of insight. Maximum! <laughs> Tiny living things have only a little bit of inside. Like dust mite volume, things, right? And a lot of outside or surface area. But what if we wanted to create a bacteria the size of a blue whale Please. and a very convenient enlargement machine? Okay. We would sadly be messed up by the <laughs> square okay. cube law. Aww. In a nutshell, it means that if you make something ten nutshell. times larger, its outside or surface would grow by 100, but its insides or volume grows by 1,000 times. Simple math. If we compare the bacterium Pseudomonas aeruginosa with a blue whale, we see that the bacterium Can you that name, has please? 10 million times more surface in relation to its volume than the whale. The bacterium has a lot of outsides, while the whale has a lot of insides. Uh -huh. If we make a bacterium the size of a whale, our giant bacteria now has too much oh. inside, and most of oh. its inside is now <laughs> very far empty. from its surface. The oxygen our bacterium needs would never reach the inside before it would run out of oxygen. Our giant yeah, that's a problem. Would just Whoa. die. Oh. Still, being bigger be has mean many about it, bird. Upside. From making it harder to be eaten to making oh. it easier to eat others. <laughs> but the size of cells He's is okay. He was still moving. Oxygen He's not and dead. Nutrients can effectively diffuse to provide the inside with enough resources. I love that single so, blink. Life avoided this problem by forming multicellular structures. Beings composed of many cells instead of one. Okay. Because diffusion works better if Yay. you have many nah. small units instead of one much bigger one. Over time, the cell buddies began to share work and specialize. Yeah. Some cells concentrated Team on work. sensing the environment. Others on digestion, others on movement. He unlocked his third eye. But that still wasn't enough. The problem of diffusion and surface and energy production remained, limiting the size these first multicellular forms of life could attain. Oh no! So, in order to become a lot of death in this bigger, one. life solved the diffusion problem by having holes and caves and tunnels, and by folding in on itself, so diffusion could happen easily in each one of the cells. Whoa! Take yourself. What you consider your outside I don't have purple hair anymore. skin has a surface area of about two square meters, but your lungs cool. have a surface area of about 70 square meters. They aren't like balloons, they're more like sponges filled with many tightly packed tiny balloons surrounded by blood vessels. Gotcha. When you breathe in, sponge with mini balloons, balloons fill not up just fresh a air. balloon. Blood filled up with CO2 is pumped around the balloons. Cool. And then the magic of diffusion happens. The oxygen diffuses into the blood where it's picked up by red blood cells. And the CO2 diffuses out of the blood and into your lungs where it can be breathed out again. That is cool. I didn't know that blood that's what happened the in the lungs. Of your body and picks up the CO2 waste. Diffusion in the body is He's so happy. At about one millimeter. They're all so, so happy. Except that guy. That guy's angry. Most one millimeter away from a blood vessel. So medium-sized animals like you need a lot of blood vessels to reach every cell in the body. Yeah. Your body has oh, around one hundred thousand kilometers of capillaries alone, the tiniest of your blood vessels, with a surface area of around one thousand square meters. This is true for all parts of you that want to exchange something with the outside world. Your body needs this is so interesting. nutrients from your food. It's not really so talking about bacteria anymore, but this is awesome. Called roughly 40 square meters. The larger you are, the more humans are just cool. You need the inside of them. Take a tree. Its way to stay alive is to create sugar out of thin air and sunlight. 
so Aha. it needs as much surface area as possible. Yes. An orange tree with 2,000 leaves has a leaf surface area of 200 square meters. But the surface inside the leaves where diffusion actually occurs is 6,000 square meters. The same with roots. This is where some crazy stuff. From the soil stuff I had no idea I wanted to know. The surface area. The roots of one square meter of grass add up to around 350 square meters of surface. If we look at the breathtaking diversity of life on this planet, it seems like everything Save is pretty different. And it is. But some basic principles are the same for everybody and have not changed significantly for billions of years. If we look at the very, very small or the oh. very, very big, waste goes out and fresh <laughs> just shot him. Big animals just need a lot of complex plumbing to make it possible. Fresh and that's fuel is the two we can all use from time to I time, it was over. especially for our creativity. All it really takes is okay. to try something it technically new, is and over. we have the perfect But as always, I'm going to watch these because I like the animations. We partnered with Skillshare, an online Ooh. learning community that offers courses on almost any creative skill, such as design, illustration, animation, photography, and cooking. They like the animations. Of courses I think I've said this level. last time so I wherever you saw are this right ad. Now, there'll be something for you. Maybe you want to look behind the scenes of our animations, for example. Yes. We've made a couple of Skillshare classes that teach you how we animated scenes from our videos with video lessons classes and hands-on projects. Or that's, if you'd rather look into really illustration cool. first, we recommend oh. Adobe Illustrator. Level up your colors by Hayden. That Obey. is cool. But what you pick first I doesn't really matter that much. That was the Hayden. important part is to get started, have some fun, and get new inspiration. Unlimited access to all classes is only ten dollars a month with an annual premium <laughs> membership. And the it's like obviously you got to pay for it. Viewers to click the link They're not going to do this for free. Get a special treat. You'll get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. I stand corrected. If you want to break out of your rut by exploring a new skill and support Kutz Thank Kuzart, you. give it a try. And we have something else to make your learning experience truly perfect. Let me hear it. New Ocean Explorer Notebook. It has beautiful sparkly full lettering and four illustrated infographic oh. pages inside, taking you on a journey under the sea. That is cool. The perfect companion for all your note-taking needs. Designed and produced with love by the Kurzgesagt Merch Burbs. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. Okay, now I'm stopping. All right, so as always, as always, as always, I gotta keep saying that every time I say as always in my videos, but I, I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, I guess they s they answered the title question relatively fast. I guess the dust mite thingy is the biggest a bacteria could get. And then it just started talking about like human body, which I love. Like I always uh, joked with my, my mom and family and stuff like that. It's like, I really wanna be a mortician just so I could like cut people open and like see dead people cut them open and see like how the body actually is and like it's just stuff like that like it really really it's so interesting to me like just how the human body functions and works and every little tiny cell working with another cell or something else in your body to like make you you and do hand movements as you talk for example <laughs> but, yeah it's just really really fascinating to me and i'm really really uh happy that this video went into that aspect of it it didn't just talk about like bacteria and stuff even though it's kind of kind of hand in hand they helped lead up to it words but yeah very very interesting stuff i really like it and uh, this video actually uh, addressed something to me that I don't think I've ever commented on an In A Nutshell video before, but the music. I, I really, really enjoy the background music a lot, and it just now dawned on me that I've never actually addressed the music before. So yeah, the music is just amazing. I, I think it was just because it was a little different in this one, and it kind of like shots in my brain emerged, and I just now found out about it, but yeah really really awesome stuff just in general like the animation the music everything is just really awesome about in a nutshell and the announcer like i know he's like it's scripted and stuff like that and there's a whole team behind it but they they really got their uh they got it going on they got it perfect in my opinion but really really enjoyable video
So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days.